In this video, I will show you how the performance of the RTX 4060 Ti compares to the RTX 3060 Ti and other similar graphics cards in both older DirectX 11 and newer DirectX 12 benchmarks as well as ray tracing benchmarks. Please note that the RTX 4060 Ti benchmark results were collected from multiple reviewers and the data were averaged. The 4060 Ti was tested using pre-launch press drivers, so it is possible that Nvidia could release an updated driver before launch, which may affect the scores. By the way, the data was leaked by videocars.com. When it comes to benchmarking modern gaming graphics cards, the 3 d Mark benchmark scores provide a consistent and comparable metric. Of course, FPS will vary from game to game, but the 3 d Mark scores offer a good indication of where the RTX 4060 Ti might stand in terms of average performance on FPS charts in reviews, which will be published in the next few days. With that out of the way, let's take a look at the benchmarks. TimeSpy is a DirectX 12 benchmark without ray tracing. At 1440p resolution, the 4060 Ti performs 14% better than the 3060 Ti. When we move on to 4K resolution, the performance increase dips slightly, showing just 10% improvement over the previous generation. Speedway, the newest 3D Mark benchmark, is built on DirectX 12 Ultimate with ray tracing. The 4060 Ti is 8% faster than the 3060 Ti in this test. Firestrike is an older DirectX 11 benchmark. Despite its age, it remains relevant as it can provide insight into the performance of older games on the 4060 Ti. First up is Firestrike at 1080p resolution, where the 4060 Ti performs 14% better than the 3060 Ti. The performance gap reduces to 10% at 1440p resolution. And at 4K, there is less than 2% difference between the 4060 Ti and the 3060 Ti. In conclusion, the RTX 4060 Ti appears to be roughly 10% better than the 3060 Ti on average. This is a decent improvement, considering that the 4060 Ti features fewer CUDA cores and a smaller memory bus. Additionally, it offers a significant improvement in power efficiency, delivering 10% more performance while using 20% less energy. Both graphics cards are priced at $399, and they share a common limitation, having just 8GB of memory. This is a disadvantage in 2023 if you want to play the latest AAA games using the ultra-quality graphics preset even at 1080p. If you are paying this much, you should expect to play on Ultra without having to spend hours optimizing your game settings just because Nvidia skimped on memory for the 4060 Ti. Yes, the 16GB 4060 Ti will launch in July, but it is $100 more expensive. Personally, I don't think it is worth it, so I won't be recommending this graphics card until Nvidia adjusts the prices to better reflect the real market value. Currently, every other RTX 40 series graphics card is selling poorly, with the exception of the RTX 4090. If this trend continues, Nvidia may have no other choice but to lower the prices back to a more reasonable level. You could potentially benefit from this in the upcoming months, provided you are not in urgent need of a new graphics card right now. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this. If you enjoyed the video, then reward it with a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.